Hello. <laughs> How are you? Well, I just take my photo. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want to take photo? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you're taking my photo. That's pretty cool. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Okay, fam, welcome to another episode of Destination Fitness with Carlos coming from the city of Urantani, basically north of Thailand. Hello! <laughs> People beeping their horns. So I'm in, right in the north of Thailand, not far from the border of Laos, which is about one hour away. And this is the city. This is a big roundabout in the middle of the city. Sixth largest city in Thailand. I think the largest city, if I'm not mistaken, in Isan. So we're in the Isan province. And uh, here we go, guys. We're going to have a little adventure down here for a few days traveling around a little bit um, it's actually quite a big city I've only been here a little little short period of time but it's quite big guys and uh, you can see behind me there it's starting to get a little bit busy now this roundabout was hectic a little bit earlier so as you can see up the top up there 35 degrees 428 <laughs> late afternoon so here we go guys Udan Tani right in the north of Thailand Okay fam, so this is a big wow moment. I've made it to Nong Kai, right in the north of Thailand. And what you can see over my shoulder there is the country of Laos. This is the Mekong River, and this is Thailand. So it's literally just over there. It's not even that far. I don't know if you can see the boats going across there, but pretty amazing guys. So this is the Mekong River. Um, I've heard about this in history lessons back at school. And this river gets wider as it goes down the bottom there. And you can see the bridge over there that takes you to Vientiane. So that's a bridge from uh, Thailand to Laos. It's not a big bridge, so it's quite a small distance there. Um, and the capital of Vientiane is only about, I think, 10 or 15 kilometers from here. So we're closer to Vientiane in Laos than we are to Bangkok. Much closer. Um, but there you go, guys. We're in uh, Nong, uh, Nong Kai. And like I said, that there is basically Laos, another country. Um, not long ago on the um, Ranong video that I showed you, we had the border of Myanmar and Thailand, and now it's another country, Laos and Thailand in the north. And wow, the Mekong River, it's amazing, it's pretty big guys, flowing pretty freely as well. A lot of little boats and little house boats on the river. A lot of people live in them. Actually, I think, yeah, I can see people. I don't know if you can see the boats all down there, really long, they call them long tail boats, but really low and really long, so it's not a wavy river, it's not very clear that it's pretty muddy, you can see the colour, but people are fishing in it, so must be a bit of life in there. And wow guys, uh, I can't believe it, you know, you've got a louse just there. Just there. When I was in Ranong, Myanmar was up on a mountain, so you, when you were looking down, it was pretty far away. But this, take probably a minute in a boat to get across there, not even 30 seconds. But wow, amazing. Another amazing moment in Thailand, guys. And this, um, they've made this beautiful walkway here. Um, you can see a bit of works going on here, but there's a bike track and everything, and I think it goes all the way along the coastline here of uh, Nong Kai um, to where the bridge is, and so that you can sort of overlook Laos there, which is beautiful. Amazing. And the people here are a little bit different as well um, from what I've seen uh, from Urantani coming up here. Um, obviously, as you can probably expect, you've got probably a lot of Laotian, Lao, Laotian I think is what we call the people from Laos, um, Laotian people here, and probably a lot of Thai people there as well. But wow, what a moment, guys. So, made it all the way to the north of Thailand to the border of another country behind my shoulder there, Laos. And the only reason, if you're wondering why well, I'm not going over, um, obviously, it's still border controls and everything else. With the bridge there, you can see the bridge and the cars going over. 
but there's still border controls. Um, and the only thing I didn't check, I mean, I've got my passport on me because I have to travel with my passport. Um, possibly I can go over. I'm not even sure. I can probably go in, but I just don't want to risk it in case they say something about, oh, you know, did you get a visa and all this sort of thing. But you never know. I might, I might look into it. Um, it's only going to be literally driving in and out because I wouldn't go to BNTN even though it's only 15 minutes. Um, just in case, I'm not really sure what their rules and regulations are over there. But anyway, guys, here we are. Beautiful Mekong River. Okay, fam, so a little bit earlier at Nong Kai, I was saying to you that the capital of Laos, um, Vientiane, is not that far. It's only about 10, 15 kilometers from where we were. I basically just drove followed the Mekong River which goes all the way, bends all over the place and I ended up getting to the capital of Laos. It's basically on the other side of the river so obviously we're still, that's still the Mekong River. This is still Thailand, that there is Laos and that's the capital. I don't know if you can see some of the bigger buildings just a bit further back there but uh, some of the bigger office buildings so it doesn't look like it's a huge busy capital but they go all along the river there. So that is the actual capital, and they've even got these little steps here that you can climb up. I'm assuming to get a better view. Oh geez, they look old. I don't know if it's a good idea to climb up there. But there you go guys. So there's the capital of Laos, and that's the country of Laos, just across the river. You can literally see, I mean look, if you were risk swimming it, you could swim across that river, I'm pretty sure. Um, but that's how close we are. So these countries guys, very very close together. Um, very good relationship as well, which is also important. But there you go. Again, get out of those, honestly guys, get out of those tourist areas, Pattaya, that kind of thing. Yeah, stay there for a few weeks, but if you want to see Thailand, get out and look around, guys. What a beautiful country. I mean, even just the drive down here along the Mekong River, all these little settlements um, all over the place. It's just amazing. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you just see something that you're never going to see before. Uh, if you just get out of those tourist areas a little bit. And like I said, actually there's some beautiful buildings down the end. You won't see it with this camera. Just down the end to where I'm pointing there. Um, in Laos. Um, don't know what they are, but they look very old but nice. But there you go, guys. Capital of Laos, Vientiane. Just across the river. Literally borders Thailand. Beautiful. All right, fam, I decided to stop a little village called Ta Bo on the way back from um, where we were near the Vientiane, near Laos. And look at these old buildings. Well, I don't know if you can see the detail behind me there, but these old wooden doors, guys, like from those Chinese era. Check this out. Old, old wooden doors. I love it. But the thing is, where I am, guys, honestly, uh, one little thing you've got to be careful of if you're walking. Check down there. <laughs> I could be talking to you and end up in the drain. But I'm crossing the road here in this little intersection. But check out these old buildings, guys. I love it. Now, this little area I'm in, this is off the beaten track. This isn't uh, on the main road. So I decided to turn off because I came through here before. Tarbo, it's what it's called. But there are no tourists around here, guys. So everyone's sort of looking at me thinking, oh, what's this guy doing here? It's very odd. But check it out, guys. These old buildings. I love it. That's what I like about going into these little off the beaten track sort of areas. See the old buildings behind me there. They're still very much traditional down here. The street all the way along the street there. And it's sort of just after school's finished. So you've got all the people, you see the car guy game next to me there? With his kid on the cart. <laughs> they pick him up from school. Pretty cool. What a beautiful place, look at that building. And everyone's got these, uh, like these carts, like this guy here, doing all their deliveries and stuff. Hey, how are you, man? <laughs> He's giving the thumbs up. Now check out this lady behind me here. She's got about four kids on the bike, about to turn there. <laughs> like I said, guys, very traditional, very old. Well, it's got busy all of a sudden. As you can see, all the motorbikes, Bicycles. Here comes another one. Cart before the kids in there. Where are they? There they go. Love it. Tabo along the Mekong River. Still in Thailand, obviously. And Lao on the other side. 
But wow, check it out. Honestly, guys, this old building here, this, I love that kind of thing. That just reminds me of like China back in the old days and things like that. And this is along the Mekong River as well, so I love it. Everyone's giving me like these looks. Ooh, who, who, who is this? We've got a farang here. It's very unusual to see foreigners here. I haven't seen any at all. In, um, in uh, the other places I've been to, the foreigners, but down here, not many at all, guys. So it's a bit of a shock to the real looking at the old lady. <laughs> She's still looking back over her shoulder. I hope she doesn't crash. She's thinking, oh, what are these foreigners? Look at these old ladies on the motorbike. I love it. <laughs> Everyone's just looking at me thinking, who wants this guy? Who you? you know, when they, when they live in these places, they probably don't realize how interesting it is for people like me who you know who've never been here the way they live their lifestyle the buildings the vehicles they're in it's also different for us <laughs> see the guys going there for the kids in the back um, but yeah they don't realize how for us it's so different and look at this building again they've painted it green but all those wooden hoardings oh man i love it some old buildings there across the road behind me. Wow, what a beautiful little area. And you know what, I imagine these people, they've probably, families have lived here for generations and generations. I'm sure they've been to places like Bangkok and stuff like that, but you know, their families have been here for generations. So the way they're looking, I can tell that they don't get out of here much because, you know, the way they're looking at me, like, oh, wow, foreigners here. So you can tell that they haven't got out of this area much, but, uh, but wow, still, what a beautiful place. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, there's old buildings down there. And across the other side of the road there. Ancient, old, old buildings. Probably three, four hundred years old. Beautiful. Okay fam, so still in the area of Urantani, but this is called Ban Chiang. And I'm at the Ban Chiang National Museum, as you can see behind me here. And uh, the beauty of this uh, area, guys, is a UNESCO World Heritage Area. And the reason for that, this is the one of the most important places in Southeast Asia, so not just Thailand, where they found a lot of artifacts dating back to the first Bronze Age period here. So I've been inside the museum, I didn't film, but there's all types of pottery, um, necklaces, skeletal remains, um, things that people use to make um, all the pottery to hunt and all this sort of thing. So typical things that you'd find in a in a museum. Um, so it's actually really interesting if you're inter interested in your history, um, especially ancient history, uh, very well worth a visit. So it's very nice. It's about 50, 60 kilometers from uh, Urantani itself, um, but really interesting inside, guys. Uh, so much information there. So look it up, Ban, ban Cheng, um, and it's a very important area. I'm going to now head to the actual temple where they did all the digging for the artifacts that are actually held in there. Like I said, I didn't film them because I thought uh, with the lighting and everything else uh, may not be come out the best on film. Um, but like I said, typical museum with all the ancient artifacts that you'd expect to see. But now we're gonna go off to uh, the temple and we'll actually have a look at the site that they've um, got all these skeletal remains as well um, out of and we'll see what that looks like. Okay fam, so this is the archeological dig here at Wat Po Sri Nai in um, Ban Chiang. And you can see behind me here. So this is where they unearthed those um, artifacts that are 5,000 years plus old from the Bronze Age. Um, which again, if you're into your history, was quite important, especially here in Southeast Asia. But this site here is a World UNESCO Heritage Area. So that's how important it is. And it's pretty cool to be at the actual burial site itself. So uh, you can see that there was a pretty important civilization here. Um, many 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 centuries ago which we probably never learnt of at school um, if you come from a European Anglo-European based country like Australia where I'm from um, all we ever learnt was about Australia uh, well not even Australia to be honest about uh, Europe so uh, as you can see in Asia lots of history there guys but look at that beautiful uh, and this is on the grounds of a, a temple which is at the back there as well but this is amazing so this is where they got all those artifacts from All right, guys, so this is a rice paddy field. I was just driving past, and I thought I'd stop and have a look. I'm being bitten by some ants down here. But these guys, just working in the rice paddy field. Pretty interesting. They're showing me how they just pick it out. 
I mean, Isan, still in uh, Bencheng. Pretty cool. Hey, look at these guys. I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I just thought I'd stop and film these guys doing their work. They think I'm crazy. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Uh, I was going to the Lotus Temple, but I can't find it. Yeah, but I can't, I can't find it. So now I go back to Udon Thani. Udon Thani, and then back to Bangkok, Pattaya, then back to Australia. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How are you? The lady's taking my photo. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you want to take photo? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you're taking my photo. That's pretty cool. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. So there you go, guys. Friendly people. I'm on. A, this is a farm in Isan, and you know, people just doing their work. Let me see if I can. I'm stopping to talk because I'm looking at this edge. I'm walking around this uh, little thing. I'm hoping there's no animals under there. Ah, there we go. But yeah, guys, look. I'm in the middle of a rice paddy field. All this is rice. This is how it grows. I think I filmed something similar in Buriram. But I never got up close to see these people actually working. Pretty cool. Anyway, now I'm back off. Off to Uruntani. All right, guys. So this is the Uruntani bus terminal. So if you get the bus down here, it's quite a long trip from Bangkok, but this is basically where it's going to stop you. And uh, as per bus terminals, very busy, all types of people down here. Oop, there's getting stuck. All types of people down here, but a very busy area, guys. But this is where the bus takes you from Bangkok and all different areas of Thailand. And uh, it's the cheapest way to travel, but it's a long way if you come from Bangkok. If you come from places that are a little bit closer to here, it's probably not too bad. But uh, again, Busy area, tuk-tuks, coaches, buses, taxis. And you've got people obviously waiting for their buses to go there as well. Now the only good thing about this bus terminal, if you do come to Urontani, you've got all the taxi drivers waiting there, is it's right where Central is. Central is a big shopping center. So that's central just there. And whenever you see a central, that's that's good. That means it's a it's a busy area. So my hotel is just down the other side down there. But as you can see, it's a busy area, guys. But if you get a hotel around here, you're doing pretty well. You're close to central, the bus terminal, and the train stations on the other side. But there you go, Udontani. This is the central part of Udontani. Police just went past. <laughs> Wow, pretty busy. You see that coming down from behind me? It's about uh, 4 p.m. A few little restaurants out here, mainly businesses out on the streets. And again, this is the sixth biggest city in Thailand, Udontani, the biggest city in this part of Thailand, northern Isan. Wow, and there goes, a, there goes one of the small minibuses. They take people pretty far as well. That's the cheapest option. And then you got the coaches as well. Now let me try and get across this street. Okay, getting killed. Okay. Hey boss. And lots of tuk-tuks around as well. They're always looking for business. Touting for business. So there you go guys, Urantani. If you get the bus, this is where you come. And there's a few little hotels and sort of boutique little places as well. Some are older ones. But uh, it's not, not a bad little area. There you can see, my hotel is straight down that road on the other side there. And that's Urantani, central part of Urantani. Wow, so this looks like a cold salad, prawns, seafood, to put in the bags like that, crab. Oh, 
And then the price is not that expensive, 50 baht each. So, it's pretty nice. Looks like some rice noodle as well in there. Give it a cold. Uh, so we've got a bit of everything on this one. Different meats. Oh, there's a few chilies on that. Okay. You got your omelette. Like there's these bags of stuff they put on there as well. Fish. Again, a bit of everything on there. Oh, what's that? Excuse me. What's this? Frog. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh this is frog. Mushroom. <laughs> oh, okay, frogs and mushroom. <laughs> Thank you. All right, frogs and mushroom. That's a different combination. <laughs> wow. Oh, these are all sweet things. I've seen these before. Wow, frogs and mushroom, guys. How's that? Fried chicken. This looks good. Better than KFC. Oh, there they go, they're cooking all the, in the bottom there. Very nice. Mm. Uh, so a lot of this food, guys, you see this in most places that we go. And they're known here in this area for their food, so... A lot of farming in this area, so basically it comes straight from the farm, straight here. All types of things, milks, yogurts, you know, I haven't seen these before. Well, what's this? This one's a purple, some purple type of milk. Wow. Anyway, guys, so as you can see, that's a huge market down here. Going all the way from one side of the street all the way to the end of the street. Urontani Market. And you saw that food, wow. Like I said with the food um, uh, surrounding this area, this is a big city, so don't make no mistake, this isn't a small place. It's bigger than Pattaya. I think there's about 150,000 people here. But what I do know, I'm trying to, I'm just waiting to cross the street, that's why I'm talking at the same time. What I do know is they're surrounded by a lot of farming. And uh, what I've noticed as I've been uh, looking around, is the cars going past. Uh, a lot of uh, industry, like a lot of boxes being packed with fruit, vegetables, and uh, I'm assuming they're being taken out to all different areas um, of Thailand. The fresh fruit and vegetables getting packed straight away and then getting sent out. That's why their food is so good here, very fresh. But what it also means is these guys here get first dibs at the fresh stuff. Then it all goes off to other parts of uh, Thailand. But anyway guys, that's the main market there in Thailand. Oh, sorry, main market in Urantani, I beg your pardon. Pretty cool, nice and big. Okay guys, so I've got the main city center temple right behind me there. And I live literally just the well. I'm staying just around the corner, which isn't too bad. So this is a little tiny, tiny strip that's pretty busy because it leads up to the temple. A lot of little restaurants around, little, little shops. It's a typical sort of uh, town, guys. Really, really nice, uh, Urantani. Um, but one thing I was going to mention about this area, it was originally um, set up, if you like, by King Rama V, 300 years ago, as a military outpost because of the wars they had with the Laos people. So what I find a lot in Thailand is you've got a lot of these uh, wars that happened between Laos and Thailand. Um, on the other side, on the eastern side, you've got the Cambodians or the Khmers in Thailand. Uh, when I went to um, right on, you had the Myanmar, uh, or Burmese and Thailand, so there's been a lot of uh, wars ongoing over centuries in this area, and the people here, they're a mixture of Laos and Thai people, so they've got a unique sort of look about them, a little bit different, um, but that's part of the, this area, what makes it so nice, so that's just a little bit of a history of Urantani. But once again, guys, um, nice little place, uh, very different, very busy though, as you can see, a lot of industry. A lot of things happening, so nice little city. And then you got all the farmland once you leave the city. It's a pretty cool place. Really out 
out of uh, the normal parts of Thailand, but I love getting out the out of the what do you call them? The touristy parts of Thailand because this for me is the real Thailand. And honestly, when you get out here, you see so many different things that you don't see over in the touristy areas. Um, you just see how people live properly. And uh, to be honest, the people here they live very humbly. It's a very humble existence for them. And I think uh, because they're so humble. Look at this little kid that just ran across that road. This is a busy road. Uh, this, this, like I said, the children here and the people here, they're so used to doing things that, you know, they don't really have much fear of things like having your kid, a small kid running across a road like that. Or even the kids riding the motos. They just get used to it and they just do it. So the way the people live in these areas, it's, uh, like I said, very humble and they just live. Um, I don't know how well they live, but, uh, you know, they get by um, obviously, where we're from, we like to do more than just get by, but, uh, you know, these people look happy and um, good on them. You know, if that's uh, the life they're used to, the life they live, good on them. Listen to this guy coming. You, you see these a lot. Usually their trucks, they're selling things and they have this speaker that goes on. And sometimes it's like, what the hell is that noise? So it's very interesting. They sell things, sometimes vegetables. This one's selling tires on the truck. But anyway, guys. Let's go filming some other areas of Udon Thani. They're wedding ceremony. The Jane is tied with him. Wedding ceremony. They got the... Whiskey, whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this is a Thai wedding, guys. Okay guys here for my friend Jay's wedding and wow what a nice uh, nice wedding first time I've seen a Thai wedding and look at the spread guys for, for this wedding it's a very intimate little wedding and um, it's not the best weather today it's raining we're out in the countryside literally among rice paddies so check this out 
This is all catered food. Obviously, the guys are cooking here. Wow. Fish. This salmon? Salmon? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, all, all very nice. Hi, how are you? He's a YouTuber. Sorry. Here's our table here. Thank you. The table here. And just to show you where we are, guys, these are rice paddy fields out here. And it is raining, obviously. It's not the best weather, which is a shame. It'd be nice to have sun, but it is raining. However, we're here for a wedding, which is the main thing. Um, but there we go, guys. And guess what? Someone recognised me from YouTube, which is pretty cool. And then my lady's back there. She goes, YouTuber, YouTuber. I said, yes, that's me. So anyway, here we go, guys. We have our food now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the wedding. This is our first time I've seen a Thai wedding in Thailand, traditional Thai wedding. Beautiful. Okay, fam, so in Udon Thani at the moment, I'm in an area which is like a, got a Chinese influence about it, which is quite interesting. It's not far from my hotel. I'm not really sure exactly what area it is in Udon Thani, but as I'm walking around, a lot of uh, vegetables, food, fruit, you know, the usual stuff. Uh, you'll see it as I walk down this street here. And it's just on the main road that goes to, if you're going to Sakon Nakon, you just go that way. But I'll just spin the camera around so you can see all the different stuff, all the vegetables that I'll have here. And they've even got the fish, still got fresh fish. They're still uh, swimming around. Okay, got your fresh shrimp. They love their markets here. And as you can see down the bottom there, it goes down there. The market's quite big. So this is all Chinese sort of uh, things that you got here. So this area, like I said, like a Chinese market. All sweets and cakes and biscuits. Wow, a bit of everything down here. Oh, well, if you want some eggs, there's plenty of eggs. Jeez. <laughs> well, there was a there was a cord uh, for me to duck under there. I could have decapitated myself. Oh, wow, very interesting area, guys. So this is uh, into your Chinese goods, markets. It's all down here, all out in the street. I mean, sometimes when I see the meats, chickens, turkey, I've seen that, I'll show you in a sec being sold just out on the street with no refrigeration it makes me sort of wonder a little bit but uh well the vegetables are fresh like i said this is an agricultural area here in Udon Thani, so all this stuff is fresh 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 you can even smell it uh you know i'm used to vegetables and stuff it's not new to me but you can smell the freshness it's like it's just come out of the ground wow beautiful You can actually, because they cut them up and just put them out, it's so fresh. Hello. The lady's going through the thing there. It is so nice. And as you guys see, the jewelry, jewelry down here. Wow, look at these veg, uh, fruits. It's dragon fruit there. Look at the colors on them. Like you say, these are the fresh ones off the tree. This isn't like our stuff that's been put through the markets, or oh, sorry, the shopping centers. These are fresh. Probably no fertilizer, no nothing. Still got bees on the long arm there. Hi, how are you? Cutting up the, um, oh jeez. Something tried to jump out, oh what's this? Oh wow, it's not a snake. What, what's it, eel? Eel? Oh. Say, say in Thai, in Thai, in Thai. What is it in Thai? Not, not, not cobra, no, not cobra. <laughs> oh, the lady's going to show me. I hope this doesn't jump out at me. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> Catfish. Ah, oh, okay. I see. Wow. Yeah, they're jumping out. <laughs> oh, wow, it's coming out. It's, it's like a snake coming out of it. Wow. I think they're eels. Very thin eels, though. These are the thick ones. If these guys are trying to work out what it is, so thank you. <laughs> wow. These things were jumping out of the water there. Oh, here we go. Some more fish, fried fish. Oh, how are you? 
Like I said, no refrigeration, but it's pretty cool. All right. Wow, well, guys. Ah, this is a proper street market here. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure if I'd eat a lot of this stuff. Well, fruits is good. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm okay, thank 25 you. 25 baht. Thank you, I'm okay. I might come back after and get some. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you. Yes, maybe, maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, I've had these before. No, I know not. No, no. Not. <laughs> not. <laughs> not. <laughs> oh, how are you? <laughs> oh, wow. You've got the chickens there, the turkeys. Again, no refrigeration. Lottery, yes. Thank you. I'm okay. I might come back and get some lucky ticket for me, yeah? <laughs> Well, wow. as you can see guys, this just keeps going on and on and on. I love this stuff they do with their eggs, the pink eggs. Oh wow guys, this is a proper full of market right behind me, all that whole street. Oh, sausages there, don't know if you'd like to eat sausages that have been sitting out there for a while. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. Swadika, I'm getting used to it now. Wow, these are, guys, I don't know, you can't smell all this stuff. It smells so fresh. Wow. It feels like I'm actually on a farm. Wow. Wow, this is full on. There's a bunch of birds here. I don't know if these are. Wow. Here we go again. Usual barbecues. Well, there's some stuff here. I'm not really sure what they are. Oh, this is a turkey, I think. Mushroom. Wow. All right, guys, the whole street. Like I said, Urantani, known for an Isan area, known for agriculture, so all the vegetables, fruits, and a lot of this gets sent off and packed away to the rest of Thailand, so... This is all pretty good. Oh, they're doing their spicy food there. Their um, papaya salads. So if you are in the colors of those dragon fruit. Wow. What a walk, guys. Jeez. I can imagine my grandmother back in Mauritius used to shop at these type of markets. She'd be loving this. Look at all the meat we've got out here. See how you keep the meat fresh? You just uh, wave a plastic bag over the top of it to stop the flies landing on it. <laughs> Getting a few funny looks from people as well. Wow, mushrooms. These are unusual mushrooms. They look like little balls with their mushrooms. Wow. Anyway guys, so that was a... Look at that market, that goes all the way down there. Amazing. I've got to duck through these little umbrellas. If you see me duck in my head, you know, the Asian people, they're quite short, so they're not used to having tall people walk through. I nearly got decapitated before. And as you can see, this is a major intersection, you guys. This is a rail crossing. And trying to get the car, I drove the car to park here. Trying to get the car down here was a nightmare. I mean, I'm, I'm filming that crossing, but honestly, there's been almost a few accidents there. So hopefully you don't have any there, but it's a manic crossing. I think the traffic stopped coming from this side, so... It's not too bad at the moment, but that's the train line. So tomorrow, very important, I'm going to be getting the train back to Bangkok. Um, so that's tomorrow night, Sunday night, and I'm getting the sleeper train. So I'm sleeping overnight on the train to Bangkok. So that'll be an experience. I'll film that for you as well and give you an idea what the cost is to get a sleeper train from Urontani to Bangkok. But that's a little trip through this little market and the Chinese area of Urontani. Pretty cool. All right, fam, so behind me is the Udon Tani train station. So basically a few ways you can get down here. Plane, most expensive way, quick. Uh, you've got the train, which is the second most expensive, and that, that's a sleeper train. I'm getting that tomorrow, but I'm getting that tomorrow evening. So the reason I'm filming now during the day is because it's going to be nighttime tomorrow. I'll see if it's all lit up, which it probably will be. Um, looks like a small station, but um, I'd say they probably only have one or two trains that run. One comes in in the morning, one goes out in the Arvo, something like that. But basically here is where I'm going to get my sleeper train tomorrow. The other options you've got is come by coach, which is relatively cheap. But also you can come by a sort of minibus. And actually what I didn't mention, on the train I'm getting the sleeper carriage. If you get the third class carriage, which is where you sit down, but it takes quite a bit of time, I think, 
nine hours. That is the cheapest one. I think it's only 12 baht, something ridiculous. But you've got to sit down for uh, 12 hours and overnight as well. But uh, that's it. And obviously, you've got all your tuk-tuks and everything here when you get out. But one thing I wanted to show you, if you look behind me there, back there, and on the other side, places to eat everywhere. I mean, I've been driving around Udantani, and honestly, everywhere you go, there's places to eat. I mean, I'm sure the people here, they probably don't even have to cook. I mean, every day, there's, I'm sorry, everywhere you go, there are sort of markets, um, food markets, uh, you know, obviously the clothes markets, we're used to that kind of thing. But the food markets are everywhere in Urantani. Everywhere I've gone, I've seen food markets. Uh, every little street, everywhere you go. Like I said, I'm, I'm sure the people here, they don't even need to, they don't even need to cook. Just, just come out of the street, walk down the road, and you're going to find places like that. And it's full, beautiful, nice food all over the place and not that expensive. But anyway, I'm going to basically go up to the station now and I'm going to check if I can get my ticket now because I've already purchased the ticket. And that was about uh, 50 Australian dollars for the sleeper uh, carriage. Um, but obviously, like I said, if you want to sit down, which I wouldn't, unless you get a day daytime uh, trip, which would probably be okay. It's only about 12 baht. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go and check my ticket to see if I can pick it up now. Um, and then tomorrow I just got to come down and get the train. But, what, what, but food, guys, I tell you, come to Urantani if you like Thai food. It is everywhere. Everywhere you go, you will find some place where they sell Thai food here. All right, guys, so I'm basically outside, as you can see behind me there, Central in Urantani. So Central is a big shopping center chain, and it's one of the biggest ones. So if a place has a Central in there um, or in the area that you're going to, that means it's probably a pretty big city. It's not a small place. So as you can see, Urantani is a big city here in Nissan and it's got its central but what I love about here look behind me you know we've got the shopping center there this isn't uh, like a worshipping area <laughs> this is a shopping center but if people want to come and pray <laughs> to their gods obviously they can do that or to Buddha I should say um, it's pretty cool I mean look they've got their shrines here and uh, I suppose before you're shopping, maybe you can come and pray for a discount. And you might end up getting a discount. But there you go, guys. It's, uh, like I said, central. Urantani. Huge shopping center. And the reason I'm showing that, like I said, is just to show you that, you know, this place is a pretty, um, not major, but uh, a big city. Uh, like I said, sixth biggest city in Thailand. So, you know, it's a big place. And just down here as well, you've got the buses down there um, they take people out to I suppose the more rural areas of um, Urantani so they get their buses there here you go Urantani to Nongkai which is where I went the other day near the last border so they get the buses or the I say buses the shuttle buses from there but there you go guys you can see behind me there so it's a pretty busy area down here I'll just cross while I can Yeah, this part of uh, U Urantani is a busy area where it's Central Plaza is. And the other thing is, if you're into your nightlife, which they have got here, I actually drove down the street, um, the next street, so basically Central can be your guide, Central Plaza. The next street after Central Plaza is the equivalent, I suppose, of their walking street. Uh, think of Soy 6 in Pattaya, but sort of half the number of bars, and not as full on, but still. Um, you've got the bars, you've got all the usual stuff that goes on there. Um, but that's just the next street. So if you are into your nightlife and you want to check that out, it's just one street away from Central Plaza. And as you can see, look at all the bikes behind me. I mean, that's a good thing about having a moto. For these guys here, they, they're used to riding them. They grew up riding them. Uh, so, you know, for them, riding a moto is like... I suppose us riding a bicycle, you know, but uh, for me, a little bit of a different story. Oh, just getting around these guys. So there you go, guys, in this area here, like I said, very busy area, as you can see, this intersection. Everyone's driving in and people driving out of the shopping complex. And everyone's trying to get parking out here. So it's a, it's a busy place, guys, busy place. But very nice, and like I said, just remember the shopping, uh, the 
place for entertainment, nightlife, literally the next street after this shopping centre, just down the road there, um, one street away. Okay, let's see how we go, see how people get across this crossing. What I find here, guys, people, when they drive, even if it's, you've got the red light, it's not your right away, they're still going to try and get across. Okay, no dramas there, which is good. But check out the amount of bikes here, guys. That gives you an idea how busy it is down here. Anyway, so that's Central Plaza. Here in Urantani. Okay, fam, I'm at Puprabat Historical Park. In between uh, Urantani, sort of heading towards Laos, but then you turn off the road heading towards this area here. And it's a quite an important area here in Thailand. Um, this whole area, if you look around me, it's like a, it's almost like a prehistoric park, but this stuff here is a prehistoric uh, caves and prehistoric temples where the monks used to come centuries ago to meditate. And we're up in like, uh, Udantani itself is quite flat, but this area here is like um, a little bit mountainous. So I'm up a little bit high, I had to drive up, had to come prepared. I've got my little raincoat there because uh, it is rainy season and the rain could come down at any time. But this is quite interesting guys, this is quite famous, uh, I've seen a lot of pictures with this one. And like I said, it's uh, prehistoric caves where the monks used to come years ago and uh, it's very interesting, even the topography of the place, the stones and everything else, it looks very different to the rest of Thailand. I haven't seen any places like this, I'm going I'm to walk down to the other areas here, but uh, yeah, very unusual, very unusual place. It almost looks like you're in a in another world, like you're on the moon or something. Look at that behind me. <laughs> it's uh, and these were all where the monks used to come and meditate uh, a long time ago, and they said they found um, some artifacts here dating back to prehistoric times. So this uh, Udantani area is very rich in history and has a lot, a lot here, guys. And look, look at all these. They used to monks used to come and. Uh, meditate here and the good thing is it gives you a lot of information about the area as well but uh, check this out I mean you've got a tour group there as well but look at all these rock formations wow it's like you're walking on the surface of the moon or something it's amazing it reminds me a bit of uh, when you go to Australia near our cliffs um, where the beaches are like the high cliffs very similar to this but I've, I haven't seen this before in Thailand, so very important. So the monks used to come in these areas here and come and meditate. And you can see from the rock formations, there's a lot of shelter. So they would have slept here um, and had the chance to meditate here. But wow, this is amazing. And look at all these rocks on the ground that are just popping out there. Well, wow, very unusual. I haven't seen this before in Thailand, um, this sort of area natural area so this is uh, really really interesting for me seeing this now this area so uh, quite a big area so it goes a lot further this bit here is the I think most popular part where people come and take photos when you look at all the pictures of this um, was a poo Prabat area uh, they always have that uh, cave that is up on the top there that looks like a mushroom um, that I was showing you before but it's very peaceful up here as well guys, so peaceful. It's one thing I find with uh, Thailand, when you find these uh, spiritual areas, they are so peaceful. Oh, I just realised there's a cave down here, let me go check this cave out. But there are such peaceful areas here. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Ah, okay, there's some caves down here as well guys. Ah, I see. So this is where the monks would would stay down here. And the man's just explained it to me in Thai. And the, yeah. oh, and there's prehistoric paintings here. So the monks would have come. <laughs> the man showing the paintings. Oh, 
้ถ้าเดินมาเรื่อยๆนะครับรอบนอกก็จะมีลักษณะเป็นหลุมเสากลมนะซึ่งสันนิษฐานว่าเดินเคงจะมีการตัดเสาไม้อาจจะมีการสร้างอาคารเชื่อมไม้เสือตัวหินเพื่อแสดงการขึ้นขึ้นเพื่อให้ตัวหินนี้มันใหญ่ขึ้นสามารถจะคุ้มได้มากจะเป็นที่ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำยันได้ค้ำ
This is just up the road from where I was at the historical park. But what I'm more intrigued about is look down there. <laughs> All the pigs down there. Pigs, dogs. And one of those pigs is enormous. Oh, the lady, the lady doesn't mind. I'm, I'm scared they're going to bite me. She just walked right up to the, the pig. Oh, I think she's going to feed them. Wow, this is bizarre. I don't know if people here realize how bizarre this is. Not just dogs, but pigs look like they're pets. Look under the table. I tell you what, the Buddhist people, they're so calm with everything that even the animals, all the animals, feel comfortable with them, honestly. This is amazing. Oh, she's going to feed them. Look at the big pig. Oh, it is enormous. Oh my goodness, the pig is like pushing the lady out of the way. Oh, here we go. They're all going to go for it. Look at this one. I'll try and film it. Oh, yeah. they're fighting. The pigs are fighting with the dogs. The dog got his piece. Oh, jeez, look at the pigs go. I don't want to get too close just in case. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow. Well, that's another first, guys. I've seen the pigs and the dogs fighting each other for food at a temple. I've never ceased to amaze me here in Thailand, the things that I see. And the lady hit the bell before, but uh, I think I can hit the bell too. But then you got to pray, I think. So they come. <laughs> wow. Look how beautiful the building is behind me. It's all part of the temple. Oh, there's people in there praying. So they come. Wow, guys. I tell you, the people here, they're so in tune with themselves, with animals. Let me just have a look at this temple. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued why the pigs are there. I see pig carvings on the inside there. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see inside there. There's pig carvings on the edge there. When I was driving up, I saw that pig. It was so big. I've never seen a pig that size before. I think it's a pig. Maybe it's a boar. I actually thought it was a, a baby a baby hippo. I thought, what the hell is a baby hippo doing walking around with people there? But it was a, just a huge pig. Wow. I literally just drove up here, guys. It's not even part of the historical park. It's, it's another temple. I just saw the sign for temples. So I thought I'd come up here. But man, I'll tell you what, this place is an adventure and a half. Honestly, guys, Thailand is an adventure. Wait, look, look, the pig and the dog are fighting. <laughs> I'm scared to go down there because I think they, they think you're going to feed them. And honestly, that big pig is so bloody big that if it bites you, I think it'll take a chunk out of you. Okay, fam, so I'm at the Urantani station. So it looks like a night waiting for the overnight train. And here it comes from that in there. Quite a few people waiting on this train, so it's pretty cool. Anyway. I'm filming for my Instagram as well. So the train's on its way. Let's see what it looks like inside. Okay fam, so here's the sleeper train's arrived. Wait for the people to get off. There we go. Oh, and mine's down here. Number 11? Oh, okay. So I'm on number in carriage number 11, which is this one here. Can you see them in there? There we go. Okay, and this is the sleeper carriage at the top. They give you blanket. PowerPoint, which is great. Charge the phone. 
we go. All right, night night. See you in Bangkok. Okay, fam. So I'm back in Drom Tien, my home here, right at the top of Drom Tien um, at the Riviera. But guys, what a journey to Urantani. Um, you can't make it up. Uh, Thai wedding, my friend Jay. Um, all the best to the happy couple. Um, Urantani, biggest city in North Thailand. Prehistoric areas and caves. Um, got to the Laos border, rice paddy fields. I mean, guys, Thailand is an adventure and another adventure on this episode. But one thing that I always throw in, guys, a little bit of a health and wellness tip. But what I wanted to do is the health and wellness tip this time is about traveling. Guys, it's great for the mind, great for clearing your head, great for motivation, great for helping you put your strategies and plans in place and know what you want to do in life, guys. So traveling is great. I recommend it to anybody. Thailand is one of the most beautiful places you can visit. Look at this behind me, guys. Like I said, Pattaya. What a beautiful place that I am here. But what I would say is the rest of Thailand is even more beautiful than this area here, guys. So see as much of Thailand as you can if you do travel to the area. Anyway, guys, all the best till our next episode.